Do you know what business development is? Do you understand how you can use business development to help you grow and develop your business? For many business owners, this is a bit of a confusing area between business development and sales. So I'm just going to go into it for you and just give you a sort of introduction to what business development is and how you implement it effectively into your business. So to ask, answer the question, what is business development? Basically, business development is the creation of a long-term value for your, for your organization, from your customers, through your markets and relationships. And business development helps create long-term value for you via increased revenue, capitalizing on opportunities, developing customers for the long-term customer retention, and creating competitive advantage for you. So business development is a skill, and it's the craft of finding the right prospect and then designing the perfect buying experience for that prospect. So what are the keys to success for business development in business development for you in relation to generating sales? And really, there's some knowledge and skills that you need to develop to enable you to implement a successful business development strategy. So the core knowledge that you need to know of is what's the current state of your business? So have you done a SWOT analysis? Do you know what the strengths and weaknesses of your business are? Do you know what the opportunities and threats are for your market, looking both internally and externally? And as part of that, you'll identify what your industry and sector trends are and what the key issues are that your customers are facing. As part of that process, you'll identify again what your customers are doing in that market. You'll need to look at business development. Is this your primary source of sales or do you use online or different other factors? What customer profiles are you dealing with? Depending on the type of your business, you know, are you a transactional business or are you a relationship driven business? Obviously, the relationship driven business business development is going to be key because then you'll be able to identify who your target customer is, what their product is requirements are what service opportunities exist for you then you could look at obviously market expansion you can have a long-term view and understand business costs and any savings potential so these are sort of general business owners uh, skills and knowledge that you would need to have but these specifically relate to business development and business development skills core skills that you need are you need to know your product obviously You've got to be a great networker and get out there and develop those relationships with people, market and promote yourself. It does involve some cold calling at times. It's about going and having winning meetings. So every time you have a meeting with somebody, what's the win-win situation for you and the person you'll have a meeting with? Again, you're looking at it from a point of view of what problem are you solving? A skill you need is presenting and likely negotiating as well if you're in control and you can set prices or agree discounts, et cetera, and also cost savings. So let me look at it really at a high level now. So what, what would be the seven essential elements of a business development plan? So let's be clear, you need a plan. No matter what you're doing in business, you want a written down plan with goals for the next week or two, next month, next three months, next six months, next year, five years, 10 years, et cetera. You need to have that plan. So the starting point with any plan is setting your destination and the foundation of your business development plan is to highlight the high level goals that you want to achieve in the next 12 months. You need a focused approach. So tightly define your target markets and your buyer personal profiles because they'll be crucial for you developing that, that successful business plan. Define your market channels. Where will you generate leads and in what market segment? So here are some typical marketing channels that you could use. Um, and this applies for technology firms, professional services, and across the range. So you want to be looking at inbound leads, leads generated through your website, paid searching, if you're going to use Google AdWords, paid social advertising like Facebook ads or LinkedIn sponsored updates, Outbound leads, so those are generated by outbound prospecting, primary targeted email, uh, referrals from existing customers, networking, you know, what leads are generated from your networking efforts. They could be direct leads with prospects you meet or referrals from that network. Channel sales, so leads generated by your partners who you're working with. Cross sales, are there opportunities to sell new products and services to existing customers? And upsell, sell higher level of product and services. And again, bear in mind, 
a modern de business development plan is data driven. You want to be collecting information and data, use that data to make a decision. Next important part is choosing your KPIs, your key performance indicators, and keep dashboards to create those dashboards to keep you on track. So a data-driven business development process allows you to keep on top of your KPI performances so there aren't any surprises at the end of the month, end of the quarter, et cetera. You then want to define your sales process and align it with your customer needs. And the key to scalable revenue generation is a process that you consistently apply to your sales approach in a way that corresponds with your target customer's buying process. You then want to determine your resource needs. You want to know how to grow your business. You need to figure out the most efficient way to execute your business plan. So what are your people, technology, and resource needs? And finally, share your business development plan with stakeholders. Once you've developed that strategic business development plan that's designed to create long-term value for your business, it's very important to share your vision with your key stakeholders, including your staff. So that's really critical. It's a very high level. We can go into a lot more detail and we'll be doing that in, in future Munch and Learns and, and articles and seminars that we hold. But that will just give you a starting point to understand what business development is and some of the processes you can follow.